So in this video, we're going to introduce toll-like receptors. So these are receptors found on the surface of many immune cells, including macrophages, which we were just talking about. And they, these receptors function to bind molecules, uh, typically that are non-self. So again, if you think about the innate immune system, innate immunity typically involves uh, reacting fairly quickly, identifying, recognizing, uh, molecules that uh, are non-self molecules. So they can um, activate very quickly uh, in the body. So um, in a previous video, we talked about macrophages and how macrophages have on their surface phagocytic receptors like the LPS receptor, the Mannerist receptor, complement receptors. And when these receptors engage their ligand found on the surface of the pathogens, that would trigger receptor-mediated endocytosis, also known as phagocytosis. But now we're going to talk about a different set of receptors, also found on macrophages, as well as other immune cells, we'll see later, called toll-like receptors. You'll see I've drawn them a little bit differently here, and the way I draw them are two lines, and the reason I draw that is because uh, toll-like receptors typically act as dimers. They're made of two different proteins, and these proteins can sometimes be the same protein, so we call those homodimers, or the proteins can be different toll-like receptors, so we call them heterodimers. And we'll get to, into that in a later video. Uh, I just, but I want to introduce this concept that there are uh, toll-like receptors found on the surface of macrophages and other cells. And these receptors uh, have ligands, and many of these ligands are molecules that are found on the surface of pathogens or released by pathogens, so that... Uh, when the uh, phagocyte, for example, in this case, the macrophage, binds to its ligand, it's these non-self molecules, that's going to send a signal into the cell. So intracellular signaling all the way to the nucleus so that these cells will actually turn on certain genes. So I've drawn some mRNA there, it's a transcription. Uh, drawn some protein, little dots, get translation. So the function of these receptors is to signal with to the cell to have some sort of response. And this response here that we're going to talk about is focused on producing a type of protein known as a cytokine. What's a cytokine? A cytokine is a small soluble protein that often gets released, often from immune cells, but there are other cells that can release cytokines. And these cell, these uh, signaling molecules, they're signal their proteins, they get released, and they're going to bind to cytokine receptors found on the surface of other cells and going to get those cells to respond some way. Some way. So if you think about the uh, different themes of immunology we talked about, we talked about communication as one of the themes. Here, we have a phagocyte macrophage, recognizing an infection using toll-like receptors and communicating this recognition to other cells and organs and tissues in the body using these cytokine signaling molecules. There are many cytokines. We're going to learn about a couple of them in the next video and throughout the course. Um, I, I will mention here, uh, and there will be a much later video on toll-like receptors, that toll-like receptors can also be found uh, internally in uh, cells like a macrophage within vesicles. So if a pathogen is taken within a vesicle or somehow enters the cell using the vesicular system, toll-like receptors can be used to detect, recognize that pathogen uh, and signal again to the nucleus of the cell to turn on genes, make proteins, many of which are cytokines. So uh, just try to keep track of the idea that Phagocytic receptors function to trigger phagocytosis. Toll-like receptors function to signal into the cell. 